yes hi in this video uh, I will be showing you how we can rename the uh, network adapter name um, so here in one of my ESX servers the um, VM nicknames are somehow registered incorrectly <coughs> um, as you can see in my other uh, ESX server uh, the naming that I have is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then I have a NIC 8, 9 here, and then 10, 11 here uh, for the 10 gig Ethernet cards. But in this specific uh, ESX server, the naming are somehow messed up. Um, uh, so since I'm using the host profiles uh, to cut the profile from one host to, to the other host, it is important to have the same exact VM NICs on. Um, all of your ESX servers. Um, so in order to change this, I have to go uh, to the SSH and change the ESX config file, uh, and then reboot the server. Um, but first of all, you need to figure out exactly that what are you going to be changing. Um, so here I've laid this um, chart um, that I'll be changing NIC nine to seven, eight to six, seven to five means NIC number VM NIC nine. I will be changing it to VMX7 and so forth. Um, so have this ready first of all. First, you need to make, you need to check um, exactly that. You know, what are the next? What are the namings that you would that you, that, you, that you would like? So once you have that, then enable SSH by going to Security Profile uh, under Properties and then under Options and starting so up, starting the SSH uh, server. I've already uh, starting this already. So let's go into the uh, into the party session. So you can also check the list of the NIC cards with the command ESX CFG dash NIC space L. Um, you can compare the MAC address with the NIC cards and whatever way you want to map your NIC cards, you can do that. Uh, the location where the config file is residing is under CD space, uh, CD at CD VMware, and that's the file, the esx.config. It's a good idea to uh, always keep a backup of your config file before you make any changes. So just take a copy of the actual config file and just kind of keep, make it as uh, esxconfig.o and once you have made the changes um, to your config file and once everything is configured properly then at the end of the process you will just come in and delete the file uh, delete the backup file if something um, is not working properly and you think you need to revert back you can actually revert back you just basically delete the actual, con actual, actual config file and rename the uh, ESX config old to esx.config So this is the config uh, copied file as a backup. Um, so you should not delete the uh, copy file right now. You should do it right at the very end when once you believe everything is working properly. Fine. So I'm, I'm going to do a VI editor. So VI dash XC uh, VMware and config, and then I'm going to hit I for insert and then look for the device so here are the devices and here are the NIC cards so I'll be replacing these NIC cards changing these NIC cards so the first one I'll be changing it is number four so the 4 will be number 8, and 5 will be number 9, 6 will be 4, 7 will be 5, 8 will be 6, and 9 will be 7. So let's just go through these numbers again. Uh, I'm just interested in VM NIC, not the VM HBAs or anything else. Um, so I have VM NIC 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8, 9, 
and then 10, 11. So after you have edited it, then hit escape from the keyboard and then use the write this WQ to save it. Write and quit. And that's all. So in order to check this again, you can go back to VI Editor. And just make sure all the changes are there. So this time I'm not gonna write anything, so I'll just be doing escape and then column and then Q to quit. And then exit out from here. And then I will be rebooting this um, host. Make sure there's nothing uh, well since I'm working on the sorry uh, working on the network so I don't have any VMs sitting on this. So you can right click, put it into maintenance mode and reboot the server. Before I reboot, let me just take a screenshot. So now I will uh, reboot the server and we'll pause the video. Uh, once the server is back online, then I'll resume the video back again. Right, so the server is now back online, and the new um, and the and the VMix have been renamed. Uh, so let me just compare the uh, names of the VMix with the uh, screenshot that I had captured. And the way I can do it is I can just compare the MAC addresses. Uh, so here's the MAC address of VM9 that is now uh, that is now VMix7. That's how they change from nine to seven, and uh, you can start comparing the others. Like for example, the second one ends with F two, so the eight was the VMix eight was changed to VMix six. Um, so it looks like everything has been configured properly, and at the end you just go back to the party and and, and delete the uh, backed up config file, and uh, that's how you can change the VMix. Um, um, in the ESXi server. Well, thank you so much for uh, watching this video.